Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be looking at the Greatsword. The Greatsword is a huge, huge weapon coming out in the next patch, and when I mean huge, I mean physically huge, and damage, and countering, and defense, it's all there, it's a huge weapon in general. So I want to talk a little bit about this weapon, what does it pair with very, very well, what should you be looking out for, and I do want to say, this was a segment that was at the end of the PvP tier list that we put out earlier in the day. If you guys haven't watched that, I'll have a link down in the description below. But this is definitely one of the weapons a lot of people are excited about. It's playable in the PTR right now. And I do want to mention, you know, before we get to talking about the great sword in general, if you guys are looking for more content, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I love the feedback that you guys provided me with in the PvP tier list. So if you guys have any more feedback to provide me with, definitely do exactly that and let me know. No. Uh, like I said, let's jump right into this one. I, I kind of cut it short in the PvP tier list on accident and skipped exactly what I asked a good guy at the end of the video. So we'll just play straight into that and we'll continue from there. Okay. And, and good guy, I have two questions for you here. Would you agree with the S? And then question two, what would you pair it with? What's a weapon that you say is going to go very, very well with the great sword? I know a lot of people are thinking about a lot of different combos right now. I've heard some of the wildest things. Uh, where do you think this sword belongs in the PvP tier list? And then, like I said, what uh, weapon belongs with it? Yeah, I think I'm going to agree. S is definitely where it's going to be at. And for pairing, I got to say, I think I think anything pretty much an A tier and even some of the B, stuff in the B tier is going to be really nice for it. Um, uh, great axe, of course, is is nice. You know, we love the two-handed big, big, big boy swords, big boy weapons. So I think it's gonna really do well with that. Uh, and then, you know, just to follow up what Cleo was saying, I mean, yeah, the blocking is insane. Uh, you know, just doing just doing a simple something as simple as heavy attacking. You know, when you're in the right stance, you know, you're gonna get like a faster heavy attack, so you know, more DPS, faster swings, bigger damage, or you just gonna be blocking someone else's attacks. Uh, and that can include, like he said, ranged or melee. You're talking about red is someone crazy. who might be attacking you in melee range too. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of utility there. Uh, it's a lot, probably a lot more mind gaming. I think probably in the uh, in the arena setting since it's gonna be so so small, you can pretty much play, you know, pretty much outplay your enemy. And one of the coolest things is by playing. is this is the first weapon that right scales primarily off two different stats. So with strength and dex, you're gonna be able to pair this with any strength weapon, any dex weapon, and have no fall off on the you know stat doing a little bit less for you. I think that's going to be one of the biggest things that people love about the Great Sword. I see a lot of people leveling this thing up right as it comes out in the you know initial launch of the Brimstone Sands update. So this is kind of the PvP tier list. If you guys have any questions or comments on what happened in this tier list, if you don't believe some of it, you have some complaints about some of it, let us know down in the comments because we're going to have a lot of people um, hopefully giving us some feedback so we know what to do better with our next PvP tier list, which I'm sure will come very, very soon after we get the next patch notes for some of these weapons. So thank you guys again for tuning in. So there you have it. That was the content that you guys missed at the end of the PvP tier list video that we put out earlier today. And there wasn't much there, but I wanted to make sure you guys got the content we made for you. So the cool thing about this really build right now, the Great Sword, is that it can be used in so many different ways. Because of it scaling, like I said, with strength and dexterity, I had to ask both of these guys who have played so much PvP what they thought would be great pairings. And when it comes to great pairings with the Great Sword, there's a lot of them. Because of that strength and dexterity scaling, uh, I asked Cleo first, what you know, what kind of pairings do you think you would have said were great for the great sword. He said, I don't know exactly what pairings would be good right now. You know, it's early to tell, but bow, blunderbuss, great axe, rapier are probably some of the best. But Spear definitely takes the cake. He thinks Spear is going to be one of the strongest just due to the mobility on the Great Axe and Spear is not too, too bad. And then you have insane, insane damage, burst damage at the very least from your Spear and then Great Axe giving you the kind of sustain and uh, still giving you a lot of utility on both weapons as well. So definitely a very, very strong thing to say. Spear, as in my opinion, going to be one of the strongest as well. You know what I really like about Greatsword, though, is that it has that counter. So you're not going to be able to take damage for a little part of a couple, you know, a second or two, basically. And I think that works very, very well with having a repost and even an evade. So if you're going more of the Grace side or even Blood side, I think it works very, very well with the Rapier. You're not going to do insane amounts of damage, but you're going to stay alive. It's going to be basically an Ice Gauntlet. Um, kind of special here. You're not going to have that burst that you had with the Ice Gauntlet Ice Spike, but it's going to be a very, very strong build either way. I do like the idea of going Rapier and Greatsword. And you can see some of the clips here. And I typically, 
I don't know if I'm going to go blood or not if I decide to go with this build. I'm definitely going to be leveling the greatsword like everyone else just because we want to try it out and see how it goes and plays in PvP when people actually have gear that uh, you know has perks on them and everything. So that's exciting stuff as well. I do want to say though guys to kind of reference the PvP tier list. I saw the post on Reddit about the video and People are actually going crazy because their weapon is a little bit lower or higher than they think it should be. Do remember, guys, that's an arena PvP tier list, and we've been playing and watching this game grow for so, so long now. So it's not just like we came back, you know, a week ago, we came in here, we thought we knew what we were talking about because we played PvP in Alpha and Beta, and decided to just throw stuff around. This is after talking to a lot of people, very, very well talented PvP players in New World on our server and other servers. And then we talked to ourselves and discussed what we thought and we didn't even move that much stuff. So it's very, very interesting to see all the complaints. At the same time, I do have a lot of positive feedback from the PVP tier list. So thank you guys again for all the awesome support. We will continue to do this for you guys because I know there's a lot of people that love to hear talking about their you know favorite weapon and where they think it belongs uh, averse where we think it belongs. So I think that's something a lot of people do like. So we'll definitely continue to make them. I just kind of wanted to reference uh, that Reddit post because there was a lot of comments in there that some people love, some people hated it. That's perfectly fine. That's exactly what you go for with a tier list because you're going to upset somebody with putting a weapon too low or too high. And do remember, it's an arena PvP tier list. I saw people referencing war PvP tier list. That's not what it was. It was an arena small scale PvP tier list. Most of you guys on the YouTube channel actually know that, but you know, when it comes to Reddit, you do have some people that go a little crazy for no reason. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Like I said, like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on if you haven't already. I really do appreciate the awesome support. We'll continue to keep giving you guys some of the best quality content here on YouTube. Thank you guys again. I'll see you all in the next one.